What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go and hit that like button for your boy. Go and hit the subscribe button for your boy. If you're a new subscriber, come to my channel. And also, turn on the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. I be telling y'all, man, I told y'all I was coming out with a dribble combo tutorial soon. I know a lot of people or a lot of new people that come to 2K every year don't know how to dribble really and I was saying in my previous video or my previous two videos that some people just don't know what to do don't know how to dribble don't know how to get open no nothing like it's crazy the amount of people that still don't know how to dribble in this game now in this game I'm going to show y'all five of the most overpowered dribble moves in this game this works for current gen and nation all you got to do is follow the all you gotta do is follow the instructions i'm gonna put on the screen for you it's five simple ones it's not that hard if you go in your local pro and make a pro am team and you know you get on you on the roster already you go just walk in there now the first move i will be showing y'all it's not that hard but you see what I mean right now i'm just moving around but the first move i'm going to show you guys now this move is called the behind the back move that's what i'm going to show y'all first the behind the back move as you can see now in order to do the behind the back move you have to hold r2 slash r2 first flick the ball diag diagonally down to the other ball hand and move the left stick the same direction as the opposite ball hand now if y'all don't know a diagonally down i'm going to use that term a lot diagonally down diagonally up i mean if you don't know what it means y'all ever played tic-tac-toe y'all know y'all know how tic-tac-toe go if it's diagonally up, it's already up, you know, boop, boop, boop. If you don't know, search it up. I'm not going to sit here. It's not hard, but as you can see right now, you flick whatever hand the ball is in. You hold RT for all this. Like I said, I have to put that. You, you never to do all the moves, you have to hold RT. But follow what I say on the screen. If you don't really understand, just keep trying and test it out. Dribble around. And if you follow the instructions on the screen, you should be able to figure it out. I mean, it didn't take me that long. But, you know, it should, shouldn't be that hard. Now, the second move I'm going to teach you, it's not that hard either, is the momentum crossover. Now, the momentum has been in the game a long time, but they did change the momentum crossover up and how to do it. Now, in order to do the momentum crossover, you have to hold R2, flick your right stick towards the other side, towards your other ball hand, and move the left stick diagonally up towards the other ball hand too. So it's like, it's in the same motion too. So if you follow like, you know, if you don't know the momentum dribble, bro, just follow what I'm saying. So if you don't, hold R2 first for all things. Move the right stick to the other ball hand and flick the stick, whatever hand the ball is in, diagonally up. Now that's the second move I'll talk y'all. If you don't know, pause the video, go back to the instructions. Dribble, it might take a few times if you're not a real big dribble. It shouldn't take that long though. It might take you a little. You might not get it on the first try, the second, few tries, but don't worry about it. Just keep trying it out. Don't worry about it. Just keep trying it out. Keep dribbling in the play now court or the my court, wherever you want to go. Just keep trying it out. You're going to eventually get it. It's not hard, though. I promise you it's not hard. It took me like a few tries, but it's, it's going to take some time, though. And once you do it, just keep practicing it over and over again. Now, the next move I'm going to teach y'all is the misdirection to two. You see this little hops up right here? Now, there's two ways to do this, but I'm going to teach y'all the first way. This is the easy way. Now, the second way is not that hard, but a lot of comp pro players use the second move. I'll show y'all that later after this one, I think. But if you want to learn how to do this one, first, you're going to have to hold RT. And then the second step, you're going to flip the right stick diagonally up towards the opposite ball hand and move the left stick diagonally down towards the opposite ball hand. So I'm telling you, this right here, it might get frustrated right here. I ain't going to lie. When I first was learning this, it took me a few it took me a few minutes to try to and learn this because this was the first year they ever added a move like this but i like really wasn't ready i was like whoa that move look lit but a lot of people don't know how to do it and still don't know how to do it so you look you go in here and you practice you just follow the steps on the screen like i said man it's not that hard once you get the use of it. and once you use it in the game somebody's gonna fall for it like all these moves are very effective once you learn how to use them properly that's what i'm saying man this dribble tutorial combo a lot of people need this because a lot of people don't have these simple basic moves 
that that make your defender just look stupid on the defensive side. Like I done taught y'all the behind the back move. I done taught y'all the momentum dribble already, and I done also taught y'all the misdirection move. As you can see right here, like it's not that hard if you follow the steps and just practice it. A lot of people don't like to try different things. These moves in the game, I promise you, you just won't even be thinking. You hit somebody with a ooh ooh, and I'm like, oh my goodness, like what do you do that to him for? Hey man, if you don't believe me, man, try these moves out. Now the fourth move I'm gonna teach y'all is the behind the back misdirection. Now you see me, it took me just a little bit of time to do this move, but in order to do this move, you have to hold R2. It's kind of the same as the first one. Flick the right stick diagonally down towards the other ball hand, and move the left stick diagonally down towards your primary ball hand that the ball is already in. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, you have to hold it. I mean, just follow the steps, man. It shouldn't be that hard though. But it might take some time now. As you can see, that might give you a weird animation. I kept this clip in here just so y'all can see. You might not get it the first of the few times because you see, I was messing up doing the move. You see, I get the move sometimes, but sometimes I don't. You see, I got it that time. But other times I get a move like this. I just want to show y'all this just to let y'all know. Y'all not alone if it don't work the first time or the second time. It happens. That's what I'm saying, man. You got to get in this mock cord or the play now jump and really test these moves out and after you get these moves down pack play one of your friends won't be one to see how they go up against it i mean i'm telling you if you think right and use the combo these moves correctly man hey man anything possible your teammates not gonna know what to do i promise you they're not gonna know what to do because i ain't never seen you you know they ain't even know you was like that on the sticks i'm telling you you hit your friends with one of these moves one of the uh, momentum i'm telling you Hit your friends with a momentum snatch back. They ain't gonna know what to do. That's a move in this video too that a lot of people don't use. Like it's a good move if you use it properly. You just can't just be using these moves all willy nilly and all that. You know, just to do a move. Cause if you just do a move to do a move in 2K, you look stupid. Cause it wasn't effective. What was the use of doing it? You supposed to use all your moves properly. I mean, that's what I do. I don't know how other people play. Some people dribble for clips. Day hey, man, that's you. But me, I like to use my moves properly. Now, the fifth move that I am going to teach you guys is the snatch back. Now, the snatch back is kind of weird. Now, in order to do the snatch back, it's not that hard, but you have to like really practice it. First, you have to hold R2 for all these. You have to flick up on the right stick and flick down on the left stick simultaneously. So, it's like a one-two. Like, it's not hard. Like, listen, it's R2, one-two, 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 one-two. One, two. That's how you basically do that. Now, in order to do the momentum snatch back, it's basically doing the momentum, and after you do the momentum, you do the same move, the snatch back. But it's not hard though. But yeah, like I said, for the momentum crossover, this move right here that I was just telling y'all about, first you do the momentum crossover, then after you do the momentum, you do the snatch back move after we're in a continuous motion. It's not hard though, but once you learn that move too, because a lot of people don't expect that move. You do that move, you probably have a good chance of getting a shot off. Just wait though, see what the defender do. Once you read the defender and see if they're not going to help or come up a little bit after you hit them with a momentum snatch back, hey, pull it. I don't care, pull it. It's a chance. It's a good chance it might go in if you're not lagging. But me, sometimes my internet be lagging so my shot don't go in like that when I do that move. But if you use that move right there, that momentum snatch back, I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay, let me really try him, bro. Because, hey, man, I'm telling you. But, hey, man, you see me right now just messing around with all the moves I just taught y'all. But, hey, man, it's not that hard. Like I said, man, use these moves effectively. Go on your mind court, test them out, come back to the video, and let me know how it went, man. But, yeah, man, basically those are all the new dribble combos and how to do all the good moves in 2K22. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new, man. It's been your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. And I'm out. Peace.